Greetings and welcome back to Infindustry. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we were on the cusp, getting very close to getting conveyor belts, and I am still working toward that goal. I'm really, really. <gasps> we have an extra house? Oh my god, this whole time we could have built another house? Oh, I'm so bad. Taking that warehouse off. Don't need them. Don't use them. Not interested. Oh, wait. No, that's gonna, not a good spot. Hold on. Because we want it in range of the general store. So let's put in a road here. Not that we really need it. We have deleted the cotton. At least we don't have to delete the cotton separately. That's quite nice. So let's put in a house here. And we have two more peons. Yes. Okay. We were going to increase this. Uh, workforce by one, as I recall. One of the things that I was thinking about is um, when we're talking about people to uh, do this stone stuff, maybe we could have a person do multiple tasks. It didn't ever occur to me before, like harvest here, deliver, collect, and deliver. As in, yeah, yeah, we can have one person do some harvesting and delivering and then harvesting, delivering, and then the other person can make up for it. And it's a little bit better than just, you know, assigning a person every now and again. So this is a person with regular rock. Here's a person with stone. Okay, you're the main main stone guy. You are uh we're going to eh. Let's see. I'm gonna take you all the way over here, guy, and you can deliver the stone. Um, but then I'm going to have you just gather the regular rock to make into stone. That seems like a good idea. 36 books. Yay. I think we can afford one more house. Uh, okay, so now you're done with life. So now you go grab stone and deliver it here, please. There we go. That's what we want. So, okay, so we have, we can, I think we can upgrade one more house. Let's do one more uh, for now, because we do want to have some lumber left to make the conveyors once we finally get them. Uh, but we now have two more peons to do our bidding, which is exciting. Um, hmm. We do have two... Wood delivers for the woodworker, I believe. I would love to see the game get those like call out arrows that like show which employees are active for which buildings. Because right now I do feel like it's really hard to know how many people are servicing one building and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that those might come in the future. That would be amazing. Um, here, I guess we need another, we do need another peon for gathering wood. So let's get a peon to gather wood for this place uh, because it is very, very short. They cannot make any pages at all where they should have more wood by now, I think, or I feel they should. Uh, this place, we could get more seals. That is a possibility as well. Uh, maybe we do that. Do we have one more peon? Yes, we do. Okay, here, you grab wood for seals. Are these also wood guys for seals? They're not seals, but banners. You know what I mean. Okay, there we go. So gathering, gathering. These guys are chopping for there. I don't see the guys that are supposed to deliver to here, unless they're taking this road all the way back, which is a possibility. I'm, I gotta find the guys. Where are they going? This guy's coming over here. That's quite far away to, to walk. Jeez, both of them. I'm going to grab both of them, I think. Here, you. Hello. Go over here, please. And you also go over here. And then we'll collect you both. And then have you get, get these trees instead. I think that's better. Okay, so 39 books. Doing pretty well. I'm going to start saving all the rest of the planks. And, of course, we have the excess cloth coming in. Um, but all of those are going to be going toward conveyor belts, I think. So what's going on here? We have, we're waiting for cotton. Wow, are we really not producing enough cotton? That could be a thing. We might need another employee here. I'm not 100% sure on how that works. 
but it feels like maybe if we get more people, we're good. Okay, so it looks like one person, and we do actually have two gathering cloths, don't we? Uh, yep. So maybe, maybe we reduce that in the future. I don't know how often we need, maybe we just need one extra person every now and again. So what I'm going to do is I'll just delete that P on there and maybe put in an extra here because it does look like we are down on cotton here. So that's important to keep up the production for. Let's see, we have 17 planks, 18 cloth. We need two of each, so relatively equal numbers in order to get stuff where we need it to go. But I am very, very, very excited to get conveyor belts. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I am... Probably more excited than in Factorio to get conveyor belts. Okay, what's going on here? Harvest and deliver, but he's not doing anything. Come on, dude. Let's get with the program here. Harvest and deliver. How about you? You're doing random stuff. You're on delivery. You're on delivery. What is up with these people? They're just not doing things. I don't, I don't get this. They're just standing there. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there is a flaw in my plan. Of course there is. Okay. The guy who is supposed to collect the excess, he was on a delivery instead of a, yeah, so nobody else could deliver stuff. So that is a tiny flaw in the plan. I guess you could only do that with maybe one other uh, worker there. Maybe that's the magic number instead of having more than that, because you never know what cycle they're going to be on when it comes to the delivery and all that stuff. How are these people doing? These are looking very pensive and wondering about stuff. See, there's this one. That's the water guy. And then the other one is the cloth guy. That's okay. Looking good. Still working. We're waiting for books. But they are being delivered. It's very steady, even if it's slow. Very steady. Uh, and also, of course, we're waiting on the stone blocks in order to upgrade the headquarters. Now that's gonna uh that's going to be a very good upgrade because we're gonna get, I think, six houses from that. Or six available housing plots from that. Okay, the cloth is starting to build up again, but that's okay. It's necessary, I think. Mm -hmm. There we go. I kind of wonder if this these people could do... Oh, they're actually getting more cotton now. That's good. So I need to build up a bit. Little bit. Is it just me or did the music stop? Not sure what happened there. We're supposed to have music here. Music, hello? Where are you? Did something happen? I'm checking my Windows settings now. Ah, yes. Why did it mute my music again? I'm so confused by this. I, Windows just decided to mute it um, because I know that I did not mute it. I was working on some thumbnails for the previous videos. And I didn't mute it. Normally I don't. The only time I mute it is like if I watch something like Netflix or, or something else or a stream or something. Um, then I'll mute game volume. But I didn't. I was just doing thumbnails. And usually I like to listen to stuff during that time. Strange things. Who knows why that happened. Um, in the meantime, the uh, stuff is building up. We will have a solution for this very shortly, which I hope you will find amusing, uh, if nothing else. All right, so really excited to get the things. How did these disappear? Did I delete them? I might have. Uh, okay, so we have 48 books. We're getting there, really getting there with the conveyors. We have our 100. We have 158 as it happens. And I'm glad that we put an extra person on the wood gathering because we do need an extra 100 in order to get the forestry books. Uh, but then again, they'll have 10 books to think about it. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully they'll they'll get stuff done. Hooray! You know, one of the things that one could do is have these people with doing forestry. Maybe they drop off one log here, then one log to the main warehouse. That is another option as well. Uh, I am looking forward to getting the warehouse or the um, headquarters updated or upgraded. Uh, we're close to that, actually, on the blocks. Um, but it, it would be good. And we have lots of stone and wood in order to make more houses. So that's a good thing. But yeah, conveyor belts. Conveyor belts will free us from the drudgery and the slavery and all the thingeries that we don't want to be involved in. Yes. And <laughs> feel free to, to groan at maximum silliness right now. Oh yes, it's a thing. Uh, all right, so hmm, we have... We have 50 books. Hooray! Conveyors! Yes! Boom! Oh! Okay, now it's time to fire people! Alright, dude. Sorry, you're going. Bye. So now, we're gonna get conveyor belts. Now, one of the things that we need to do is we need to get... Okay, there are some, some things about conveyor branches that are important to note. Okay, so let's just get this one here. Um, if, okay, so these are sort of like splitters, but if you put them right next to a building, like if we had this one conveying to here and we put the splitter right next, or not splitter, but the branch right next to the building, all of the stuff is going to go to that building. Uh, I'll, I will explain more about this as we go along here, but let's see, conveyor to the left. There we go. That's not right. <laughs> Whoops. Conveyor to the right. There we go. Right there. Okay, I want to put branches on here as well. Oops, not that. We're right click. And they're on our bar. Is that not convenient or what? So, peon has been deleted. Hooray! This is great. Now then, peon to deliver books. Which one is that? It's not you. Who is it? Where? Where are they? Uh, all right. Conveyor to the right. And to the right again. And thingy. There we go. So where is the guy waiting for books? Where is he? You're the book collecting guy. All right, go here. Time to delete you. Bye. <laughs> is this not great? We now have two peons freed up just because of this. Uh, now then, we probably want to get... Okay, we're going to do a conveyor ramp down. Oh, hello. Why? Oh, we don't have enough cloth. Yeah. The sad times are here again. One of the cool things, though, that you can do is you can build a conveyor bin. So if people are harvesting trees to send back to the headquarters, you can build a conveyor belt, like starting from over here, for example, and all the way along this road tile and have them drop it in the bin so they don't have to carry it the whole way. That's really convenient. But right now, we are suffering under a lack of cloth, which we knew that would happen, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it is uh, kind of annoying, uh, just a tiny bit. So one of the things that I do want to do is make... We want to make another farm, and we want to get conveyors to convey stuff to this other place. So what we're wanting to do here is put a branch here. We're going to put this on the bottom floor, and... This is where you need to pay attention to how close it is to the building, right? Because if this branch, so we're going to have the cotton coming in. Here, let me just grab a thing. We're going to have the cotton coming in from here and then go here and then hit this branch. And this is this works like a splitter in Factorio. Um, and once it hits the branch, it will split between all of the outputs. You can have multiple inputs, multiple outputs. It doesn't care. It's kind of like, uh, I think it's like in DSP. They don't care. I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, but if you put this uh, branch right next to the building, all of it will go to a building. So you need to have a space if you want it to split evenly. And that's what we want to do. We want this to split evenly. Let's see. We also need a branch here, which we don't have enough resources for. Arr! We don't have any resources. Dang it. 
Okay, how can we fix this problem? We can fix it by, let's go and get one peon here to uh, take the cloth over here. Remember, we had a little bit of excess cloth going on because we had more cotton. Oh, we have seven. Wow, that's good. All right, now we have some more of this cotton coming in. That's great. So that that's working. That's good. Uh, right now, we want to focus on conveyor belts that reduce peons. So we're trying to do that right now. Uh, the second height here is going to be for nothing there, but here we're going to have deliveries of something. Probably wood. Definitely probably wood. Uh, I think we'll still have peons for deliveries of cloth and of the water because water you cannot automate to my knowledge. There's like no piping that you can use uh, that I'm aware of. So um, yeah, we'll have to have that. And then since the headquarters are so close, I think we'll have the cotton cloth deliveries. But um, now my strategy for doing stuff is generally make a, a big long belt through the entire world to deliver stuff to the headquarters. That's what we kind of want to get to at this point. Uh, let's do our, let's see if we can start to get a conveyor belt coming out here. We only have two cloth, no. You know what, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save the wood because uh, what we need is two clothiers and two of these guys, but we need more people right now. What, what can we do else? What do we got here? Do we need more people delivering cotton? No, that looks okay. This guy's doing a good job, I think. Um, what else can we do here that would need... What we do need probably is forestry. So let's get another person right now gathering trees uh, for for sale. Wood for sale. There we go. It's like fresh eggs for sale. <laughs> God. There we go. So there we are. Life is going pretty well. Now this, to be fair, is kind of far, but it's going to be okay. We're going to get it going and it's going to be fine. Uh, we could, um, we probably next want to get the conveyor belt from up here because this is a lot of material coming down that we need to, to come down properly. Um, we could put the conveyor belt out above the road. So in reality, we're going to need two of these branches. We're going to have another building right here and both of them are going to feed into a conveyor belt that probably is going to go above the road. That makes sense to me. Um, and then we're going to attach it to this one here, which is just going into the where the headquarters. Oh, oh, you know what we forgot to do? We need to set an export thingy. Ah, I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, and here too, we need to set the books as export. Um, there we go. There we go. Books. Hooray! Now they're getting released into the wild here so they can keep on. I was like, why is this thing stopped? No, why are we not getting planks? So this is uh, automation, which is great. We love automation and uh, I'm excited about that. So the next thing obviously is going to be the forestry book and we're going to get to have a forester. So we'll see how that is working out. Uh, but all of these people delivering stuff, we really want to cut down on that. It also helps, like, if we build a conveyor belt out to this forest here. I mean, if we were going to chop trees. We're getting forestry very shortly, but uh, if we do that, we just put a bin. And we don't need three people doing it. We only need one because there's so much less travel time. They can spend more time chopping and less time traveling. So, yeah, it's good. So anyway, here we have uh, things going on. We can also get another forestry. I think I want to set up like two forestries and that way we can get um, enough wood for all of these different places. So that's going to be kind of important. I think we'll have wood delivered here. So maybe we have a, oh, uh, We'll just wait. We'll just wait. We got to be patient. Be patient. I don't want to be patient. I'm not a patient person. Darn it. Okay. 
we can do this. We can go to the right, conveyor to the right here. And then this one is going to branch off up here, like, and go to this house there. I'm not going to build too much because I do want to actually build the forestry because it costs something to build. I think it costs planks as well. Apparently the foresters live in luxurious circumstances. There we go. It is 15 planks. But this is also going to simplify our lives because we don't have to have a billion people doing forestry work. And this, we're going to have another... I think we're going to have another this and then another branch. So it's going to split between here and also going into the main headquarters. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, visions. We have the visions of the future, but we just need to get stuff going. We have plenty of wood actually in, in stock, but we don't have wood here. Why are we, we don't, why don't we have enough wood here? Okay, let's change your schedule and have you go for tree and go for here, please. I feel like they have to walk so far away right now that they are being so much less efficient. We really need this forester uh, set up. Okay, there we go. There we have a thing. So, yep. We're exporting planks. We're getting books. Yay! All right, forestry. Boom, we can get it now. Hooray! Okay, so now we get to build a forester when we have 15 planks. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because that'll give us two planks back. And that means we can actually put our forester down. However, of course, the forester does occasionally do some annoying things. Uh, like put trees where you don't want them. However... Um, you can kind of mitigate that a little bit. So let's see. Let's grab these people and we're just going to delete both of them. I don't know where they belong, but it's okay. We're going to put... Wait. Didn't I delete both of them? I'm very confused right now. Okay. Make sure you do a production queue for your forester. You need to plant trees first and then they can cut them. So we have two actions here. Uh, oh, there's the other one. Okay. Weird. Um, I'm going to put two in the forestry building. Usually I have these maxed out with peons uh, because they are so needed. But we need to make sure that we get where we need to go. Okay, so let's go this turn that way. And start. We need the planks right now. Help. Okay, let's do our output because foresters, remember, can do berries as well. So... It's kind of like a farm, but for berries. But yeah, we need many more planks. Where are you going? You're going to... Oh, this place. Okay, cool. Okay, this guy is waiting. These are chopping stone. Oh, wow, we have 67 stone blocks. I think we can probably remove... A couple from here maybe how many people do we actually have cutting stone just one okay we might even turn the whole industry off at this point because we are kind of desperate for wood right now but one thing that we can do is that we oh we actually have no more green stuff that's not good we can't plant any trees because no more green stuff no Okay, I want you to go here and go there, please. Where are you going? You're going to woodworker. That's where we want. We really desperately need these planks. Come on, people. Deliver. Go, go, go. I'm not actually sure if they need trees to make planks. <laughs> kind of like, do they? I don't know. I don't actually know. Oh, another plank is going on a conveyor belt. I love conveyor belts. I, I think I might have said that in previous games. But I love them so much. They're great. 
Okay, these folks have plenty of wood, despite no wood being delivered now. And that's okay. Alright, peon. I want you to harvest these trees right there. Take them over there. Just take them. Take them to the place. Alright, we have eight wood, actually. And maybe, maybe this guy... Maybe you don't cut down trees. Maybe you just deliver directly. Uh, door to door. That's what we want. Until we can build the conveyor belts. <laughs> okay, let's grab a conveyor belt. Okay, we can only build two. No! Wait, surely we can build one more. Yes, we can. Almost there! Just two more planks. Come on. Come on! I'm like looking for other conveyors I can destroy. I could destroy this one. Yes. Okay, that's better. Yay! Okay! We now have automated delivery, so now all of these peons can be deleted. I'm just gonna delete them as they uh, deliver stuff so that I know who is who and where they go. Alright, good, good. How many more are in the forests? Okay, you guys are doing this whole thing. There's four people doing that. I think that might not be necessary anymore. Okay, so this is now... Now we need more production here at the Plank Place. Uh, because we have insufficient peons for doing this. Uh, all right, so the other thing that we really would like to do is get the wood delivered there. But it might be worth having a peon just do that. I think it's worth it. I think we, we, we spend a peon here. You go here to there, please. Because I'd rather, I think I would rather free these two cloth delivery people up instead and build at least half this conveyor belt down here. So let's see, we want a down slope like this, and then we're gonna have just kind of a, a raised thingy here, but we don't have enough stuff yet. Okay, books are being generated still, which is good. All right, this is completely automatic now, which I'm very happy about. We need even more woodworkers for this to keep on going, but it's okay. It's something. It It is in process, which is exciting. It looks like we don't need this many uh, foresters for now, so we'll take one off, um, and that means we can rebalance something elsewhere. Um, this might be a really good opportunity also to free up these peons. We have no stuff. Uh. All right, this tells me we definitely need to improve this situation here. We do have nine cotton. So if we make another clothier, that means we can share that one farm. Uh, and that's a good thing. Let's see, clothier. Oh, we need 10 planks. Okay, we're going to get one soon. We're going to get one soon. We're going to wait till it... Oh, there it is. Okay. It, it popped out of the thing already previous to our thingy thing. All right, so there we go. Again, one space between that and the splitter thingy. And where do we have a peon? Um, I think we grab this one. Okay. We need two, I think. We need one to run the thing. Oh, we already have the thing running. Okay, good. So let's do cloth. Um, and then the next one gonna put you here and you're gonna grab cotton and go there oh cat hello cat just took one look at me and like turned around and I'm like huh how come what happened <laughs> hello so that was a bit startling to me I'm like hello uh, I want to figure out how to do this section here this might be interesting but we need a lot more cloth for that to happen. So let's see, this one is doing well. Do we have two delivery people? I've forgotten, we might. Ah yes, you are also delivering. So you deliver from there to there, please. And you collect cloth, please. All right, good, good. We definitely need two clothiers for doing the books plus all the conveyor belts we're going to be making because there will be several just several 
but the wood here as you see is still backing up so we definitely want to connect it to the general store and no it's not worth moving all the houses and the general store closer to the thing right now because it's just uh, we've already upgraded stuff and things like that too so there i think it was because the peon was there let's see if we can do a left turn like that okay very good and then a right turn from here all right we are closer we're closer two tiles closer <laughs> oh Oh, the cry is real. You can tell, probably. Um, but it's okay. We're going to get there. Yay. More cloth being made. More stuff being done. Um, but this is going to free up two peons if we get this connected. Uh, oh, we are actually short on lumber right now. Because I think we took off a person here. Um... So yeah, we need to, we need to definitely uh, get that going, but we have no cloth. So that is our current struggle is the lack of cloth. Uh, and then of course, well, this, this would free up two people as well, putting uh, this um, belt to the cotton. That doesn't suffer the same thing as this wood issue that we have currently. Let's see, where's that wood going to go? It's going to go in. Okay, good, good. So do we have enough to upgrade a building? Not quite. Oh, and we're still, yeah, we're saving the planks for mostly conveyor belts. Mm. Planks, though, we should be saving up for upgrading the headquarters. Let's see, these are... Are they definitely planks? I think they're planks. So if we save up 50 planks... And that means we can get many more houses, like six more houses. So maybe we save up for that and um, just chill on the resources right now and just pray for cotton. <laughs> pray for cotton, yes. I, I mean, we could maybe the cotton is better to to do here. Because it is automatic and we are overcapped on it right now. But that's several tiles though. Mm. This one's so close. It is very close. We can make one! Hooray! Man, oh man, this is just a struggle, isn't it? It's just. Oh! No. Whoops. Get that road back there. It is a struggle. I guess what we could do is just do a road here to these trees, because that's what they're doing, is going to these trees. Make it a little bit faster for them. We have tons of wood, regular wood. Oh, wait, we have two uh, conveyor belts of cloth. Ready? One, two, go. But I do feel like these three people, um, we definitely need to put at least one in the woodworking or the forestry hut. Maybe two. Maybe we put two people there. But in any case, they can make a bigger difference uh, there than they are just chopping trees like this. Alright, planks are building up. That's good. We need... Need the cloth though. Come on, clothies. Let's go. Clothies, yes. Like they're they're wizards, they're mages. Alright. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right. We um when we think about MMOs and stuff, I have been playing Lost Ark a fair bit, and uh, there's no such thing as like plate armor or leather or cloth. It's just armor for your class. So there's no, like, choosing there that goes on. Alright, we need one more piece of cloth and then we can do this thing here. Uh, let me... Take one. One more, people! One more! Oh. You know what? I'm gonna grab all these guys here. These people. And delete them. And the reason for that is that I can put two of them in here. 
to make more wood because none of them are involved in making conveyor belts. So there we go. Automatic deliveries. Boom. And then here, we're going to need one to go to this hut here. They are actually missing wood. Um, and that is because it has not built up because we had such slow production for a while. But I'm hoping this will make it build up, maybe. Uh, if not, then we just build more conveyors uh, to take it directly there and like split it evenly. I think that's um, I think that's the way pretty much. Let's just put all of them in here for now. We can't, they can't really help anywhere else. We do have five cloth in that uh, particular clothier though. Yeah, I'm gonna need several tiles of this. I guess we could even count it if we really wanted to. One, two, three, four, let's see. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 20 cloth we need to extend this over there. Um, and obviously we want to because we are not getting any books currently. That's not ideal. But this game is interesting in the fact that, like, you kind of, um, you have to change your strategy and you have to change the pawn placements all the time to just kind of respond to the needs of the factory. It makes it kind of interesting because there's a lot of rejigging that goes on here and it's, uh, yeah, kind of cool to, to make that happen. Okay, here we go. We are doing stuff. The only good reason to maybe put some stuff down here ahead of time is to prevent trees from growing on those tiles. So we'll put down a couple of conveyors, I think. But yeah, we definitely want to get this going. Let's see, page up, rotate. I may change the page up and down keys to be more, I don't know, associated with the left side of the keyboard. <laughs> see, we have five cloth there. Kind of tempted to just grab a person from... Wait, what is going on here? I hate that they just, like, stop. They just stop doing everything. Um, one of them... I'm going to delete one of them and take them elsewhere. But you guys... Here, get that stuff and deliver there, please. And then I'm going to have another person at least temporarily delivering cloth from this one place. Whoopsies. Right click and right click. There we go. Uh, okay, good. Very good. So that's going to get us cloth faster. Yay. I don't know why this isn't going any faster. It doesn't feel like it's five times as fast or four times as fast as having one employee there. It feels very much like more people isn't always a better option. It might be better just to have more foresters. And indeed, I am planning on having at least one more uh, forester here. Okay, we have gotten another spot for conveyor. So let's just... Not another spot. Well, we did get the spot and the materials, so that was quite nice. So now we should be kind of out of the range of planting. It's very unlikely they're going to plant on that tile. Um, but yeah, we're getting some stuff. This is good. Okay, so we're splitting now. Hooray. But I should ask about the speed bonus because there's nowhere on this thing that tells us how fast these are generated. And I would like to know those statistics on this thing because it's kind of like... Well, I don't know. Is it better or isn't it? Is it better to have, you know, three three single person foresters or is it better to have one forester with three people in it? Right now, it's better to have one with three people in it because of our lack of conveyor materials. Uh, we just can't afford to have more conveyor belts running. But in general, it's probably better to have 
one one level or three level one buildings instead. Oh, but this is this is going pretty okay. It does look like it's uh, working with the peons involved here, but still it's like not ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this peon because they're never gonna get any. It's always going out the uh, conveyor entrance there. So here we can just, let's grab the left turn and because we need two of those. There we go. Okay, very good, very good. So now we need three more tiles. So that's six belts or six uh, cloth. Okay. And then planks are building up nicely. We're soon able to get the headquarters buffed again and there, therefore get to our maximum amount of 15 houses. And then we're going to need a bunch of planks to upgrade stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with our progress so far. That works really nicely. This is a place that's just screaming for conveyor belts. So we'll get that soon. All right, four. We're at four. Let's get six. Come on, folks. Deliver, deliver. All right. We just need books. They haven't had wood in like forever. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yay. Rotate. Page up. Um, rotate. There we are. Okay. We are now going to actually get books. And if these things fill up, like, that's not likely with this building ever or this one. So, but this one is probably going to cap at some point uh, and have 10 logs sitting in there. So if it backs up, then uh, more logs, it, it'll back up all the way back to the branch thingy, the splitter thingy. And uh, then the other uh, things will get more stuff. So very nice uh, system there. And this is working. Hooray. Oh my God. Now, the one thing that I have not seen in this game, it might be hiding somewhere, but I don't think it is, is I haven't seen any logic. Like, you can't uh, filter stuff out and you can't, like, connect wires uh, to prevent stuff or whatever. So that um, we have to design with the puzzle of the game instead. So I'll show you when I make some marmalade, which is a nice uh, little recipe how that is going to work. But let's see, right now we need to kind what I would like to do is I really would like to get the food distribution, but we need cooking for that. I think, yeah, we need cooking definitely. So that is kind of our next goal is I think cooking fishing is a nice one too, but fishing is very far away. Um, it's all the way over here. So that's a lot of conveyors. I don't think we can afford that right now. But far, um, having the cooking, that will enable us to make better foods and stuff. So that's a good thing. We want to we want to do some cooking because if we look at our info bar here, we can see. So uh, just grown stuff out of the ground is one reputation rank and one happiness. But once you start cooking things or processing them, like bread. Okay, so bread needs uh, flour, but that's also from a food mill. We can't do that. If we look, okay, berry juice. It needs two berries. As we know, that comes from a forester. And you get three reputation points from a berry juice. Apple juice is also three. That's, a, that's an easy one that I like to do. Just get a farm to make apples and then make apple juice and then deliver that to the food distribution center. Roast fish is a very nice one. It is four and two, which I like that recipe. It's going to be very far away. Alas, uh, the marmalade is also quite nice. That's just sugar, oranges, and fuel. Uh, we don't need a food mill for that. So that is also a good thing to do because we get the blue points instead. So let's see, what can we do here? Um, I think what is going to help us the most? I kind of feel like delivering here to the base is going to help us the most, but I don't think so. I think probably the answer is the shortest amount that is needed is going to be over here. And I think this is where we need to focus our conveyor belt resources is between these two 
places giving them cotton. And then we can free up two peons to do other things. Okay, let's just put the last person in this forester because we still are not getting enough wood. We do have enough, to, however, to upgrade our headquarters. So let's go. Boom. Level three. Looking good. We now have tiled roofs. Um, and I think it's time to put down a whole bunch more houses. This is happy days are here again. We have noticed the happy days. They are indeed here again. So let's just put those down. I think we get six. Okay. okay. That is... We have one left. One left. But now we have many, many peons. Many peons. So how can we improve this better? Without conveyor belts, what do we need? It looks like we need another cotton farm. Or more people working on this cotton farm. I think the better thing is just to make another cotton farm. So let's just do that. Let's get some... I, I like to set out the fields first. One, two, and we don't have any more. We have no more wood? How is that a po Oh, we made all these houses, that's why. Okay, so one thing that we don't have is wood. <laughs> Ironically, we have run out of wood. So let's make, I think we need some peons here. Uh, yes, and then why don't you all, all of y'all, y'all go get some trays. And start harvesting them for there. And I think what we do now also is we get another forester. I think we need another forester. Resource. Forester. We don't have anything for that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. It's scary. It's scary. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, what we have now is we have a mass peon grouping that can do stuff. Okay, so we have, let's get these four. You guys harvest this over there. And then I want to get these three harvesting some stone. Let's get this stone over here. And then you take it over there. There we go. Because right now, what I intended also is to have half of this wood also going to the base. Uh, but that is not possible currently. Because we really don't have enough wood. I don't... Honestly, it doesn't feel like having more... More people actually results in more stuff. Let, let's actually count. Let's see. So if we... Okay. These are one, two, three empty between things. Three empty. Let's go and put one, one person here now. and see. Okay. Does this make a difference at all? Let's see does so that that went in so it's one two three four five six but that's that's four less it's not two like i would expect two people can do double the work i mean we're not talking about a bureaucracy here where you know it doesn't work that way um so i think it is far better to get multiple foresters yeah i think that's that's the way uh we do need more stuff though let's get we gotta wait for them to bring some stone in are they where are those people hello oh these folks are going up here what are they doing up here they might be getting oh they're getting some trees where are those stone people, though? Oh, there, there's some over there. Uh, looks like this might be our next stone mine. I don't think we should build a conveyor belt all the way out here because I feel like this stone is going to end very soon. So we'll have to find some more. There is another... There's usually a stone patch. Is it this? Because this one is iron. That one is just a hill, I guess. This one is coal... There should be one for every material, like an infinite one. Like this one is crystal. I guess you have to be close, fairly zoomed in to get them. Is this it? There's gold. I don't know where the stone one is. No. Crystal. 
iron, if that's a not thing. There's gotta be a stone one, I think, right? I hope. Where is it? Not finding this for whatever reason. I don't know why. Is it here? Iron? There's coal. Coal is useful. Iron is useful. This is not stone. Oh, are we... Could we possibly run out of stone? Oh, that would be horrible. No, here's stone. Jeez, what am I thinking? Oh my gosh, my brain is just not functioning well at all. Uh, all right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this stonemason. Uh, it's only got two stone in it. And we're just going to put it over. I can't believe I didn't see this. Because they can actually hand mine from there. Um, Alright, so we'll just put this here. Very close there. And we'll have the miners grab from there. Actually, what, uh, mm, mm, mm. what, what I want to do here is... We're going to have a... A building there a mine so let's put the conveyors on this side and we can just kind of take them from that way unfortunately it means our miners are gonna have to walk around a little bit but that's okay so let's gather our miners let's see you are gathering stone blocks and delivering them so you can do that here all right that's fine then who do we have now you are you have stone you go from here to there, please. Oh, okay. You didn't like that idea. Hello. Here to there. Okay, they're walking now. Good, good. So we're going to watch for anybody that's hanging around here or clueless looking or something. Because there's no need for them to walk all that way. I can't believe I didn't notice that until now. But it's okay. It's, you know, stuff happens. It's all right. So, let's see. We wanted to get another forester. We don't have the stone for it. <laughs> Ironically. Oh, gosh. <laughs> How about you guys? You guys you guys look fit and ready to work. Here, take this stone to the base. Thank you. What are you doing? You're gathering wood. You're wood. You are wood. You're another wood. Okay, here. Wood, wood, wood guys. Here. Gather and take. There we go. Very good. So here we see this um, workshop building up the logs on the conveyor belts. And um, they are going to, yeah, soon going to just put more toward the woodworker and other stuff. So I think woodworker also needs less employees right now because we don't have enough to fill it. Okay. And this is working very, very well. How's the cloth going? Pretty good, pretty good. We don't have much cotton. Uh, we could start building some conveyor belts that direction. Like this. Oops. Okay, we're out again. Hooray! We built four! Oh, the cry is real on that. It really is real. It's You need so much cotton and you need so many deliveries and so many people to make this whole thing work. It's really needing of conveyor belts for sure. Wow, this guy is going all the way out there to get some wood. That's a bit wild. So, let's see, road. There we go. Okay, so things are working the way they are working, which is very nice. So here we have IS cloth person, and the other person are there. We're just waiting on wood or on stone i guess so for the forester we need 10 stone okay so here's a person why are they just i don't get this they're like touching the road and then they're walking to the right i don't really get this let uh, let me do something different let's see they want to go this way i think so let's just do something like this oh my goodness we have a meowik meowing at us that's nice oh Hello? Hello, little Emma. How you doing, my baby? She's so meowy today. She's been very vociferous over the last few days, actually. And I'm not really sure what what is going on with Cat, but she is catting. She's merrily catting along. 
doing her cat things. We might delete this road after we have delivered the stone, by the way. Um, and I think we, we definitely shall because we want to put a conveyor belt probably along this line here and just go into the warehouse. Um, and that can take both the stone blocks from here as well as the raw stone that they're gathering there. Yes, my cat. Hello. Oh my goodness, the meows are real. We're just meowing a lot. We're meowing so much. We are very meowy. All right, let's just delete some of these roads here. Being careful not to delete the peons who are going about their business. There we go. Okay. Very good. So that area has come to the end of its era. Uh, and we are very short on reputation. This is not ideal, for sure. What else can we have them deliver? Kind of nothing. I think everything else is too complicated. Like, I, and I don't want to give them books. We can't build a shovel because we don't have iron. Same with the axe. These things we need uh, animal husbandry for. There's really not much you can do with the general store other than wood. Um, and then, of course, ointments and all of these dressings and things are from the apothecary, which we also can't get right now. So this is a bit of a struggle here with the, uh, the points. And having another forester is going to <laughs> mess with that quite a bit, I think. Oy, it's not ideal. All right, well, but we still need one. So let's just add one. I'm going to put it, let's put it close by and see how this works. So we need to do right turn here. And we need to make sure that we do stuff. Let's just try tree cutting. I wonder if that's going to work. Might. Okay, so exporting logs. And of course we need to have uh, other stuff going on here as well. So let's just delete conveyor belts because we are not using them there. And we need to do this. And then we need to get... Do we have enough to build the branch? Yes, we do. Let's take this one off and build a branch. Okay, very good. So I don't know how this is going to function exactly, but we're just going to try it and see. We may just have this one forester planting all the trees and the other ones are just gathering. But I don't know how that works. Okay, so here's something that I don't understand here. Um, it looks like it wants to... Maybe it's trying to insert here, but in any case, this is not functioning well. Can we put it, put it again? Is that going to work? Can you go through, please? Nope. It's trying to put it into that building. So we might need to do a belt here. Not that one. I always get kind of like weirded out about this icon here, this one, because it looks like just a bar. It doesn't actually look like a conveyor belt. So, all right. This is a shame that we have to do that, but it's okay. We're going to, we're just going to work with what the game is doing here. Uh, all right, there we go. Okay. Let's just connect one at a time. Okay. And then turn and we don't have enough things not enough planks come on plank maker make go 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 but I am really looking forward to getting the food processing and cooking because that is going to give us much more happiness, which gives us more uh, reputation and, uh, well, or not, not reputation, but it gives us more production speed on all the buildings. And it's kind of like a universal multiplier. Plank, please. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we have logs. Hopefully they'll go through. There we go. There we go. So that's something that I want to suggest as a change. I will write an email. Uh, the developer is really cool. Um, and I've had 
quite a nice conversation uh, with them. And um, so that I will suggest as a change is if we have an output thing, then maybe we have this uh, thing being automatically able to output onto a line and just have it go into where it needs to go. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. We're going to have to allocate our workers later. Maybe we have, maybe we just do this like this and, uh, uh, and add a few right now, even though we know this doesn't give us a huge speed boost. It's like four to be double, which is not great. Definitely not great. Um, but anyway, our colony is coming along. We have gotten conveyor belts and that is the sign of a prospering colony. We're just going to say that. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.